In the last lecture, we performed the mesh analysis when the current source was present in a separate mesh, that is, current source was not shared by two meshes. Now, in this lecture, we are going to perform the mesh analysis when the current source is shared by two meshes. And the mesh analysis in this scenario is known as super mesh analysis. So first, I will give you the meaning of super mesh and then we will take one example problem to understand how to perform the super mesh analysis. Super mesh is a loop when a current source is present between two meshes and we remove the branch having the current source and then the remaining loop is known as super mesh pretty straightforward there is nothing to explain in this and you will understand it in a much better way after solving one example problem and in this example we need to find the value of current i current i is the current in this branch and in the solution we will proceed with the same steps we are having in step number one we will identify the total number of meshes present in the network and in this network we have one and two meshes so number of mesh is equal to two and in step number two we assign the mesh currents let's say i1 is the current in mesh number 1 and I2 is the current in mesh number 2. I1 is having the clockwise direction and I2 is also having the clockwise direction. We are done with step number 2. Now in step number 3 we will obtain the mesh equations. Let's try to obtain the mesh equation for mesh number 1. We will apply KVL in first mesh we will start from this point we have plus 4 then we have I1 multiplied to 1 as the voltage drop and the polarity is like this therefore we will have minus I1 multiplied to 1 so finally we are getting minus I1 then we encounter this current source and we don't know about the voltage across this current source Therefore, we cannot complete our KVL equation and the same problem we will face while developing the KVL equation for mesh number 2. Now to perform the analysis, we will remove this current source. As I have written here, we remove the branch having the current source. So we entirely remove this branch. So let me copy the given network and I will paste the network and in this network we will remove the branch having the current source so after doing this we have a new network and you can clearly see that we are having a loop and this loop is a mesh and this mesh is known as super mesh now we will apply kvl we will start from this point we will have plus 4 then we have minus i1 multiplied to 1 i1 is the current flowing through this resistor so we have minus i1 then we have this resistor and current through this resistor is i2 so we have minus i2 then we have minus 2 then we finally move back to the same point so this is our KVL equation and from here we will have I1 plus I2 equal to plus 2 let's call this equation number 1 now don't comment that how we are having different currents I1 here and I to here in the same wire the reason is this is not the exact circuit 
we have done a manipulation we have removed this branch and therefore we have two different currents in the same wire the actual circuit is this one and here we have current i1 through this resistor and current i2 through this resistor therefore we have taken i1 through this resistor and i2 through this resistor so till now we have one equation and two unknowns now what about the second equation how we are going to get it in order to get the second equation focus on the current source the current source is providing 2 ampere current in this direction and current i1 is flowing in this direction and current i2 is flowing in this direction so this current 2 ampere is in the same direction as compared to i2 and therefore we can say that i2 minus i1 is equal to 2 this is our equation number 2 now when you add the first equation and the second equation you are going to get current i2 which is equal to this current which we were supposed to calculate equal to 2 amperes so this is our answer so i hope you now understand how to perform the super mesh analysis in the next lecture we are going to solve one more question and after solving that particular question super mesh analysis will become more clear now i will end this lecture here see you in the next one